Okay, your guys' images are really huge. Okay, so we got to take and we got to make them smaller for this to work first. So the first thing you guys are going to do is using your marquee selection, we are going to take and make a selection that is closer to the person's face and body. Okay, so we got a better selection there. I'm going to say image crop. Now, once we got that cropped, we need all the other images to be cropped the exact same also. So just like you guys did with the Pokemon cards, you're going to leave it with your marquee tool, and you're going to make sure that you have new selection clicked on right here. You're going to drag this selection over to the other images and sort of drop it in place. Image crop, and then the same thing with the other photo. This will guarantee you guys that you have the same size selection for every single one. So we're going to image crop every single one using that same selection. Once we got those cropped down, we need to take and put them together on one document. Okay? So we're going to look at this one right here cuz this is the face swap or the face merged one. First thing I'm going to do is say image image size. Okay? Right now, our images are huge. We cropped them down a bit, but this is 33 inches wide right here. We're going to take the width, set it for 10. Okay, so we cropped out all the extra stuff, and now we're setting the width for 10, so that this way the image isn't as big. We're going to also do that with the other ones also. Image size, width is 10. So now they're all the same image size. Okay. Now, we're going to put them together on this one. We're going to take and make our canvas bigger. So we're going to make our work size bigger. So we're going to say image, canvas size. This isn't going to change the image. This is going to change the size of our canvas that our images are on. We're going to set the width for 20. And what's going to happen is we're going to grab our two original images, drag them over using our move tool, and place them where they need to go in here. Okay? Yeah. 10 for the image size, for the width. Okay? Now, my two documents, my two original images are here. You can see the face swapped one underneath. Now we got to create our GIF from it, or a GIF, whatever you want to call it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say Window, Workspace, Motion. And you're going to see something pop up like this, down along the bottom here. Now, this is our starting image. We need to create our ending image also. Right down here, you see the little icon for the new frame. We're going to take our frame, drag it to the new frame button so we got a copy of it. Okay? But now we want this to be our ending frame, which is the merged face. So I'm going to take the original two images and hide them. So between our two frames now, there's the start. There's the finish. Okay? And that was done just by hiding those two layers right there. Now we got to tell this how long we want to see each image. So for my starting one, we're going to set it for 0.1 seconds, which is a really, really short amount of time. And you'll see why in a second. Right here, just right underneath, 0.1 seconds. Our ending one, we're going to click other. We want to see that one for three seconds. Okay. Right now, if I was to play this, when I hit play, you see the starting image for a split second, and then it goes to the other image. Okay. So what we're going to do now is make the transition from one to the other. We're going to do that by taking and holding shift. We get both of our frames selected, and we're going to create something called a tween. 
which is this button right here next to my new uh, frame button. Okay, this is our tween. What this is going to do is it's going to add 25 frames between these, and it's going to slowly warp from one to the other. So you'll type in 25, hit OK, and you can see all the other frames in here now. When I hit play, you see the slow transition. Okay? And it'll loop again. The way you get it to loop again is right here. It says forever for mine. It might say just once, which it'll play once and then stop. Make sure that this is set forever. Okay? At this point, you're going to go File, Save for Web. Okay, mine doesn't have Save for Web. Yours will be right in here for the Save for Web. Mine's in a little bit of a different location. This will pop up when you do the Save for Web. You're going to make sure that this right here is set for GIF. Then you'll hit Save. Here's the save file. If I take and open this up in Google in uh, Chrome, it'll take that GIF and play it on repeat for me. Okay, so that's the file you guys are going to turn in. Does that make sense?